Carburation was the standard form of uh, fuel induction for many years and there's a lot of different types of carburetors out there. But there's two adjustments of the many that there are that are common to almost all kinds of carburetors being idle speed and idle mixture. And so we're going to take a look at that today and how to properly adjust that on this car. Uh, this car has a two barrel carburetor and for our purposes the important thing is we can see here at the bottom there's an idle mixture screw. Um, not easy to see in the scene but there's another one for the second barrel as well so we're going to need to perform that adjustment twice. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start the vehicle up and we're going to warm it to full engine operating temperature. Now that the vehicle is at full engine operating temperature, we need to first start by adjusting the idle speed to the specifications. The emissions label on this car specifies that this vehicle should idle at 600 RPM in neutral. Currently we can see by the tachometer that we're idling at about 750 RPM, so we'll adjust the idle mixture screw, or the idle speed screw rather, to bring that down to 600 RPM. Our next step is to perform what they refer to as a lean drop adjustment. We will start by adjusting one of the two idle mixture screws out till the engine runs smooth and the uh, engine speed doesn't seem to really increase any. In fact, as I'm turning out, it's, it's going down. So I'll actually start turning the screw in, which should begin to lean out the air fuel mixture. If you do that, the RPM raises a little bit. And we get to a point where all of a sudden, the engine speed drops. And when we get there, we'll actually back that idle mixture screw back out about a quarter of a turn. And that's actually the proper spot for uh, this bridger one. We'll now readjust the idle speed to bring it back closer to 600 RPM. We'll now repeat this for the other idle mixture screw. That completes the process for uh, this carburetor. Once again, we would have to, at the end of this, readjust the idle speed as it will change sometimes as you adjust the idle mixture. 